But dear students, this is a previous year NEET question asked in 2020. So it's asking us to find out an acceleration of a trolley where uh, the trolley is having a friction force because the coefficient of friction is given as 0 0.05 here. So friction force is mu mg which is uh, 5 newtons here and you know 2 kg means 20 newtons. 2 into g is 20 newtons acting downwards. He is finding acceleration. He is asking us to find out acceleration. So simply it is acceleration is net force by net mass. Net force means dominating force is 20 and the friction force is 15. So difference can take and add the two masses which is taken as 12 here. So acceleration is nothing but 15 by 12. 3 5 is 15, 3 4 is 12. So 1.25 is going to be our answer. That's it. So my dear friends, this is a case of friction when 60 newtons is acting on 4 kg and 2 kg and both are moving in certain acceleration is asking us to find out what is the tension between the two blocks. A simple method is first of all find out the friction on this block mu mg which is nothing but 20 newtons. Friction on this block is 10 newtons same mu mg will apply because mu is 1 by 2 here given. So it is asking us to find out first uh, acceleration. You can find out acceleration is nothing but net force by net mass. It is 60. Here friction because of these two bodies is 20 plus 10 is going to be 30. So minus 30 by the net mass is 4 plus 2 is 6 here. So acceleration is 5 meter per second square. If you want to find out the tension, the tension is going to be mass into acceleration on this block. Okay, there is 2 into acceleration is 5 plus friction is additional force here. Additional friction is acting. So it is going to be how much? 10. So therefore 10 plus 10 is nothing but 20 newtons is going to act on this tension. Thank you. My dear students, in this case, you have to find out the tensions here, okay? So what are the tensions? Let us see here. This is having tension T1. Uh, let us imagine this is having tension T2. And he's asking us to find out the tension C1 and T2. And first of all, you have to find out an acceleration. Acceleration is nothing but net force by net mass here. So what is the net force? You can see this is 40 newtons acting upwards, downwards and upwards. And there is a friction acting which is 10 newtons. That is mu mg which is equal to 10 newtons. So acceleration is nothing but 40 minus 10 minus 20 because these are acting in opposite directions by the net mass 2 plus 4 plus 4 which is nothing but 10 here so therefore acceleration is nothing but this is uh, 10 by 10 that is 1 meter per second square is going to an acceleration so whenever you want to find out the tension t1 t2 this is coming down so down means m into g minus a so what is m here 4 into 10 minus a is 1 36 newtons and this is tension upwards which is 2 into g is 10 plus 1 okay so 22 newtons like this in a simple way my dear friends, this is a question in which tension C1 and T2 are asked. You know, you can find out first of all an acceleration. Acceleration is nothing but net force by net mass. What is the net force? Let us see here. You know that 40 newtons and 20 newtons is acting downwards. Only 16 newtons is acting downwards. Friction is equal to mu mg, which is mu is given as 1 by 4. Therefore, mu mg means 10 newtons is acting left side. So net force means 16 newtons downwards and 10 newtons backwards. 16 minus 10 by net mass, total mass. 4 plus 2 plus 4 is 10 newtons. Therefore, you're getting 5 meter per second square and acceleration. You know any body coming downwards, Td down. M into G minus A is the formula. So therefore, T1 is nothing but 4 into G minus A. That is 4 into 10 minus 5, which is nothing but 20 newtons. T2, you have to find out same formula, M into G minus A because it is coming downwards. Both the blocks are coming downwards. So totally mass on the tension T2 is 2 plus 4, which is 6 into G minus A, which is 6 into 10 minus 5. It's going to be 30 newtons, my dear. 30 newtons. So simple it is. My dear friends, find the acceleration of a truck so that the block which is attached to the front part will not skid down. Let us see how many forces are acting on that. So this is an acceleration of a truck which is acting like a pseudo force in the opposite direction. A pseudo force acts in the opposite direction that is said to be F here, okay? And what is acting in this direction? Normal reaction. In the upward direction, friction acts. Mg acts in the downward direction. Let us see what's going to happen. Okay. So now just see here. This is... Pseudo force Ma and normal reaction N here. And what else? Friction is going to be equal to Mg. Okay. And you all know friction is equal to mu N. Uh, yes, this friction taken as Mg and N is taken as Ma. Okay. Mm gets cancelled. Acceleration of a truck is going to be G by mu. So acceleration of a truck is going to be G by mu. For example, coefficient of friction is 0 0.2 here. That is 10 by 0 0.2 which is going to be 100 by 2, which is 50 meters per second is going to be answered. That's it. So easy. Thank you. My dear students is asking us to find out what is the value of 
friction on the surface of the body because of this multiple pulley system. We know that the friction which is called as limiting friction is going to be 12 newtons. But what is the friction applied because of this multiple system? You know this is tension T. That means this is also tension T, this is also tension T. These combined together becomes 2T here. So this is 2T means this is also going to be 2T. 2T combined together becomes 4T and this is also 4T. 4T combined together becomes 8T. With this it is understood that 8T is equal to 8T. So T is equal to 10 Newtons. This is 10 Newtons applied on the block whereas limiting friction is 12 Newtons. And you know that limiting friction here, uh, static friction is equal to applied force. So therefore the K value will be equal to T here because it is less than the limiting friction. So whatever the tension will be there that will be the friction here. Your answer is 10 Newtons. My dear students, this is a previous year J mains question in which there is a hemispherical boil and the insect can crawl up to this height and again skid down. We have to find out how much is going to be this height. You know this is the radius of a boil and this is R means the component is R cos theta. That means H is going to become how much? R minus R cos theta and it is given in the problem that coefficient of friction is 0.75 which is nothing but 3 by 4. So tan theta is nothing but coefficient of friction mu that is the angle of friction just like mu is equal to tan theta that is 3 by 4 means it is going to be 5 here. So you have to find out the height here. Height is nothing but a radius is 1. So 1 minus 1 cos theta. Cos theta here is going to be 4 by 5. So 1 minus 4 by 5 is nothing but 1 by 5 which is 0 0.2 is going to be a height. Thank you. My dear students, a man holding a book between the two hands. He is asking us to find out what is the coefficient of friction between the book and the hands. Now just see what are the forces acting. A man applies the force and in the opposite direction normal reaction acts. So applied force is going to be equal to normal reaction. Because of two hands friction force acts upwards. Mg acts downwards. So we can write 2F is equal to M into G here. Okay. And what else here? You all know friction F is equal to mu into N. But N is equal to applied force. So friction F is equal to mu into F applied force. So instead of 2F, if you substitute this 2F here, then you will be getting 2 mu into applied force is equal to M into G. Therefore mu is equal to Mg by 2 into F here. M means 2 kg. G is nothing but 9.8 divided by 2 into F is nothing but 49 Newtons is going to be applied here. So this is uh, 1 times and this is 10 times. It is going to be 0 0.2 is going to be your answer. That's it. My dear students, a man is holding himself between the two walls by just pressing his legs and hands. Then what is the applied force by the man? See, man is applying the force in these directions. In the opposite directions here. That means in normal reaction acts in this direction. Normal reaction acts opposite to the applied force. Here in the upper direction, friction force acts on both the walls and Mg acts downwards. That means what is the meaning? Applied force is equal to normal reaction and friction is on both the walls. That means 2F is equal to Mg and you know F is equal to mu into N. But you know that N is equal to applied force. Therefore F is equal to mu into applied force. And this F is equal to mu into applied force if you substitute here. 2 mu into applied force is equal to mg. Therefore, applied force is equal to mg by 2 mu. This is going to be your solution. Okay. Applied force by the man is mg by 2 mu. That's it. Thank you very much. What is the minimum velocity of a car in a circular road so that it will not skid away? This is the concept in the friction. So, just see here. Uh, friction is acting in this direction. Centrifugal force is acting in the opposite direction. Therefore, friction is equal to mv square by r. And normal reaction is acting upwards and mg is acting downwards here. And friction is directly proportional to normal reaction. And friction is equal to mu into m. Okay. So instead of friction, you write mv square by r. And mu into n. Instead of uh, m, you write mg. So mm -M gets cancelled. Therefore, v square is equal to mu r goes that side mu rg. Therefore, safe velocity should be. Okay, what's going to happen here? Safe velocity should be less than or equal to mu rg under root. This is going to be your answer. This is the safe velocity. If the car crosses this velocity, it is going to skid away. My dear friends, this is a previous year question asked in 2019. 
ये ब्लॉक हैज बीन फिक्स्ड हियर बिकॉज़ द ड्रम इज रोटेटिंग विद एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ओमेगा देन दिस ब्लॉक हैज बीन काउंटरबैलेंस्ड बाय फ्रिक्शन फोर्स व्हिच इज एक्टिंग इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन इज एम जी एंड सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन नॉर्मल रिएक्शन इन दिस डायरेक्शन देयरफॉर एन इज इक्वल टू एम आर ओमेगा स्क्वायर यू ऑल नो एफ इज इक्वल टू म्यू इनटू एन इंस्टेड ऑफ एफ यू राइट एम जी एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ एन यू राइट एम आर ओमेगा स्क्वायर हियर mm gets cancel you want to find out omega omega is equal to square root of g by mu r which is nothing but g is 10 mu is 0.1 and radius of this drum is taken as 1 given in the problem here therefore your answer is going to be 10 radians per second that is c option 10 radians per second that's it Might ask one more similar type of question, but here the force acting on the blocks is 120 newtons. You can just see 120 newtons acts in this direction. Limiting friction between the two blocks because of coefficient of friction is 0.5 is going to be mu mg, which is 50 newtons acts in the left side. Therefore, 120 right side, 50 left side. Acceleration is nothing but resultant force by mass of the upper block. So resultant force for the acceleration for the first body is A A. A net force resultant force is 120 minus 50. 120 minus 50 is going to be 70 divided by 10. Okay. So this is going to be 7 meter per second square. 7 meter per second square for the first block, that is upper block, lower block. This limiting friction is acting like a driving friction for the lower block in the forward direction. Therefore, F is equal to M A. Acceleration of the lower block, which is second as A B, is nothing but 50 divided by F by M. 50 divided by 10. Which is nothing but five meter per second square. So upper block is seven meter per second square. Lower block is only five meter per second square. That's it. My dear students, this is a block over block concept of friction. You can just see these two blocks are having same masses, and force is applied on the upper mass. You can just see the free body diagram. Upper body I am taking separately. Friction acts in this direction. As coefficient of friction is 0.5, limiting friction acts in the left side direction, which is equal to mu mg. That means limiting friction acts in this direction, which is 50 newtons. as both are counterbalancing each other each other that means the upper block is held exactly on the lower block in such a way that both combined together move forward you can take a free body diagram of the lower mass also this friction which is acting left side is having acting like a driving force for the lower block driving force is 50 newtons that means both combined together move forward with an acceleration as these two combined together move with an acceleration acceleration is going to be net force by net mass here net force applied is 50 newtons And net mass is both are having 10 kg, so 20. Okay, so 2.5 meter per second square is going to be an acceleration of combined blocks. Thank you, my dear students. In this problem, a block is fixed on the wall by application of a force which is said to be horizontal force of 10 newtons. Mu is 0.2. Okay, and is asking us to find out the weight of a body. Now this block has been counterbalanced by two opposite forces. That is applied force. Applied force is equal to normal reaction. Okay, and that means what is the normal reaction here? Normal reaction applied force is going to be ten newtons here. And you know friction is equal to mu into n. Okay, friction is equal to mu into n, which is nothing but zero point two into n, which is nothing but ten, which is taken as two newtons. Okay, and you know that friction is always counterbalancing the weight of a body. That means weight of a body and friction are going to be same. That means weight is also two newtons, friction is also two newtons. That's going to be the answer. That's it. Another model for block and block problems. Let us see. The upper block separately have taken the free body diagram on which 40 newtons acts in this direction. The limiting friction because of coefficient of friction 0.5 acts in the left direction because its mass is 5 kg. Limiting friction becomes 25 newtons here. This limiting friction acts like a driving force for the lower block forward. And the for lower block limiting friction is going to be mu m1 plus m2 into g, which is 5 plus 10 into g, which is Coefficient of friction is 0.2. Therefore, limiting friction for lower block is going to be 30 newtons. With this, it is understood that driving friction is lesser than the friction which is acting on the lower block in the backward direction. Therefore, acceleration, acceleration of the lower block B is going to be zero. Whereas, an acceleration of upper block is going to be the resultant force between that is 40 minus 25. 40 minus 25 is 15 by the mass which is taken as 5 here. Therefore, 3 meter per second square is an acceleration of an upper block that is taken as a. Uh, an acceleration of a lower block B is going to be zero because the friction which is backward is greater than the driving friction because of the upper block. Thank you. My dear students, a car is moving in a curved path. Then, any body moving in a curved path, there is a centrifugal force acting away from the center. That is, F C is equal to M V square by R. 
friction between the tires and the road acts in the opposite direction towards the center as a centripetal force. Normal reaction upwards, mg downwards. So friction is counterbalancing mv square by r. Normal reaction is counterbalancing mg. And you all know friction is equal to mu into m. When the place of friction you have to keep mv square by r which is equal to mu into m. m means mg. mm gets cancelled. Therefore uh, v is equal to mu r g under root. mu is 0 0.34 and r is 50. g is 10. If you calculate you will get 13 meters per second. So your answer is 13 meters per second. That's it. So simple.